French TV series The Bureau is a fictionalised glimpse into France's intelligence service, a tense drama punctuated by unforeseen twists. The spy thriller's long been popular in France, but more than five years after it was first broadcast, it's become an international hit. The Bureau's executive producer says the show offers a fresh perspective. It is a French language show. It's ordinary people doing an extraordinary job in an intelligence agency at the DGSC. The success in over 120 markets today is because it's relevant. It is an insight that had not been seen. I mean, again, you know, most of these shows were either English or American. The show's distributor says the Bureau's global appeal has helped change buyers' attitudes. I think once you have a success, for example, the Bureau, uh, it's easier for us to, to have some discussion with uh, buyers who usually don't acquire French series, which is the case today now. It's positive for us as a distributor because we can really sell some French programs where we usually never never you know have any deal on such series online streaming platforms have made french shows available to an unprecedented international audience call my agents another homegrown french tv series attracting fans worldwide the spirited comedy is set in a talent agency in paris run by shrewd entrepreneur hisham yanovsky hisham is played by actor assad boab I think boundaries have been broken and people don't mind watching series in foreign languages anymore. Because Call My Agent is on so many platforms, it's reached a really wide public, including people in the industry, and that's had a big impact on new projects I'm being offered. Paris is the backdrop for most of the shows. The world-famous Louvre features in the most recent French-language hit Lupin. Netflix says the mystery thrillers attracted more than 70 million subscribers, making it one of the platform's most watched shows. French TV shows have certainly benefited from the surge in people watching series at home during the COVID pandemic. And at a time when few people can travel, a location like Paris certainly offers some welcome escapism. After decades in the shadows of the country's famous film industry, the French TV industry is clearly having a moment, as more viewers than ever take a plunge into what was previously foreign territory. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.